How's it going, everyone? My name is Cynical, and welcome back to yet another Umineko. So we are still in episode 3, Banquet of the Golden Witch. And if you have not watched the previous videos and caught up yet, the link, as always, is in the description down below to the playlist. So go ahead and check those out. And let's go ahead and just continue from where we last left off. Uh, this one, right? Wait. Has it really been that long? Excuse me? <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, that's right. Tuesdays and... Yeah, Tuesdays and Wednesdays is... Okay, yeah. Never mind. It's been forever. Alright. So let's go ahead and read. When being besieged, your true enemy isn't so much the fear of an unseen culprit as it is keeping such fears alive for long periods of time. Maria got bored and started complaining that she wanted to watch TV. Well, get used to it because we're not going anywhere. There was no TV in the lobby, so she decided to return to the cousin's room on the second floor. Oh? The adults probably wanted to make sure Maria wasn't left on her own. Well, yeah, she's a little child. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> that makes sense. Hello? Uh, they told all the children to go to the second floor cousins' rooms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. George, who was grief-stricken by the loss of his fiancée, led the cousins up to the second floor without any resistance. Ah, sad boy. At first, Nanjo had been reading a book in the lobby. But when he noticed the relatives looking like they wanted to, to, to uh, discuss something sinister, he said, It seems I am in the way, and returned to his room on the second floor. Rude. ハラヘッドな。ぼんやりしてると。それ以上に眠気が来るぜ。無理もないわよ。<laughs> How are you still smiling in this situation? Do not make me slap you and get that smile off your face! <laughs> Alright, well, it's not a smile, it's a grin, but still. <laughs> get the grin off your face. わたしと主人がここにおりますので、辛い方は無理せず、お休みになってください。相手はそれを期待してるかもしれないわよ。この人数では崩せなくても、いくらか減ったら、その隙をついてくるつもりかも。ここには7人いるわ。2人ずつ
Uh, she'd been even provoked them by saying she'd give up her assets and the headship if they could solve it. Eva took out a notebook and opened it to the page where the epitaph copied onto it. ねえ、Natsui immediately brought a blank before sheet of paper from the servant's room. Kirie borrowed Eva's notebook, wrote out the epitaph on the paper, and laid it out on the table. Then everyone quickly peered down at it. They automatically formed a crowd. こら真面目に読むのは初めてなんだけど、変な先入観を与えない方が面白い捉え方をできるかもしれないな。そうね。キリエさん、率直にこの碑文を読んだ感想を聞かせてくれないかしら。多分皆さんのお役には立てないと思うわ。みんな買いかぶりすぎよ。
You who seek the golden land, follow its path downstream in search of the key. As you travel down it, you will see a village. In that village, look for the shore the two will tell you of. Uh, there sleeps the key to the golden land. The one who obtains the key must then travel to the golden land in accordance with these rules. Okay, so what she's saying by three parts, I think I'm seeing it. Here's part one, from the first sentence all the way down to the one who obtains the key must then travel to the golden land in accordance with these rules. Then the second part is all about the twilights, and then the third part is the, uh, well, the resurrection of the, you know, witch Beatrice. So three parts. Ah, oh, I see it now. Hmm. Smart. Hmm. Okay. Anyway, back to this. ヒブンはだいたい三つのパーツに分けることができると思うの。まず最初のそこに黄金の鍵が眠るまでの五行。ここまでが鍵のありかを示した最初の部分。そして大樹の晩までの十一行が黄金鏡そのものの場所を示した
非常に調べるのは困難ね川も一本ではないだろう地理的な意味では我々もそれぞれにかなり調べたつもりだエヴァに至っては現地まで直接調べに行ったんじゃないかね Oh Jesus Damn she means business あくまでも旅行としてよ<笑> Yeah right でも街並みは当時と完全に変わってる Vacation my ass 何しろ戦争を挟んでるのよお父様がどこに住んでいたのかさえ正確な場所の把握は不可能よ多分お父様が自ら現地へ足を運んでも今となってはどこに住んでいたか特定できないでしょうねあちらさんも随分目覚ましく復興したって話だからなあゆの川と言われてはっきりとした地名は出ないのそりゃな何しろあゆだぜ水がきれいな川に住むってんだからそれこそ心当たりの川は無数だったろうさ親父が無邪気にあゆ釣りをした小川もその後の開発で埋められたりもしただろう戦前の地図もしくは戦前の現地に詳しい人でもいりゃ話は別だが多分そういう話ではないわどういうことだね懐かしき故郷を貫くアユの川黄金郷を目指す者よこれを下りて鍵を探せここまでの2行で一度開業してるのよねこの2行だけで何かの提示が成立するのよその何かに基づいて次の3行が続くんじゃないかしら何かの提示って何やろな Like the first two lines are giving you a hint as to the next three lines. You need to find that hint to make sense of the next three lines. わからないわ。とにかく、その二行だけで、どの川かわからないとか、そんなあやふやじゃなくて、はっきりと、この川という特定ができるのよ。ひょっとすると、水の流れる川ではないかもしれないわね。アユの川は何かの比喩かもしれないアユという言葉にはどんなイメージがあるのかしらアユは鮭みたいなもんや淡水魚だが生まれてすぐは海に出るんやそして大きくなると川に戻ってきて生活しそこに産卵して生涯を終えるんやまあ一度は家を出るが大きくなって戻ってきて卵を産むってなあたりは一族繁栄的なイメージがあるかもしれんなへえ淡水魚なのに海水でも生きられるのかよ知らなかったぜ川魚だから海には出られないと思ってたぜアユは香りが良いことから紅魚とも呼ばれるとか私は食べたことがありませんが塩焼きにするととても美味しいそうですよなんやなずひさんアユの塩焼き食ったことあらへんのかうまいぜ今度ごちそうしたるわ庶民の料理だファキュー君の口にはふさわしくないこれは私の妄想なんだけど実は私アユの川のイメージから崖図を疑ったことがあるのアユは一度海へ出るけどまた生まれた川に帰ってきて産卵するんでしょまるで私のことみたいだなって思って。そうね今だから白状するけど私もあなたとマリアちゃんのことを指してるんじゃないかって疑ったことがあるわなるほど
川を下ればやがて里あり家系図を下ってくと見つかる里はマリアの名に含まれる里の字だけだでしょでもみんなも知っての通りお父様はマリアのことを毛嫌いしててほとんど言葉を交わしたこともないそれにお父様はかつてマリアに全然違う名前を付けるように言っていたのそれを私が勝手にマリアにしたお父様はそれをとても怒っていたわその経緯を考えると財産や家督を引き継ごうという大切な碑文にマリアの名を引用するとはとても思えなくて Unless he disliked it because well it's basically in her name right it was like a giant fucking hint that's right in front of all of you マリアちゃんに碑文を読ませたことはあええもちろんあるわでもさっぱりみたいだった She's faking it. <laughs> 魔女の復活の儀式みたいな相変わらずのオカルト話ばかりでさっぱりだったわ Well most of it is yeah 親父殿とマリアの接点、hmm. 確かに両者にオカルト趣味はあるが全く交流はなかった私もマリアのことを指しているとは思えんね懐かしきっとわざわざ冒頭につけているのが私は気になるわ、right. さっきみんなが言っていたようにお父さんにとって後宮家の当主となることが不本意だったとしたならそれを懐かしんだりするかしらそれは後宮本家を指す小田原ではないと思うの私にはこの懐かしきという冒頭の一語がお父様にとってとても大切な思い出深い場所を示しているに違いないと信じているんだけれど。Yeah, basically what I said earlier. Yeah. <笑>まあいいさ。当時の地図もさっぱりだから特定は困難だが。とにかく、親父の少年時代の故郷に、アユが泳げる川は何本かあったろうさ。水の流れる川ならねそれから続けてよキリエさん川を下ればやがて里ありからの産業はちょっとよくわからないわこれは多分アユの川の2行に連結してる Look for the shore the two will tell you of. There sleeps the key to the golden land. So you have to connect it back to the family tree to two people. Probably him and Beatrice? Maybe it even goes further than that, actually. Huh. Family trees are weird, man. Okay, anyway. If you know the name of the tree, you can see the name of the tree. それがわからない限りこの産業を先に解こうとしても無駄でしょうねアユの川の正体がわからねえとお手上げかしかも文字通り河川を指した保証もねえときたったくアユってのは何なんだ親父の好物かそれとも何か特別な意味があるのか深読みしても仕方ねえのかうん、mm,、It might be a diversion, maybe。ミクロとマクロの二つの視点を持たないと視野が狭まるわね。Right. 深く考えすぎないで。魚が泳いでいる川、あるいは流れ。下るもの、登るもの。そのくらいの抽象的なイメージにしておいた方が発想が柔軟になっていいかもしれないわそしてアユの川の答えが
続く産業を経て黄金鏡の鍵にたどり着くこうして考えると3つの区分というのは間違いかしら正確には4つの区分ねアユの川を下り黄金鏡の鍵を見つけ黄金鏡へ旅立つそして黄金鏡の宝ふん<笑>せっかくだ続けて碑文の最も中心的な部分である黄金鏡にたどり着く大獣の晩までの見解を聞かせてくれんかねこの碑文の中で最も象徴的でそして物騒な部分ねいけにえなんて単語が連発するから。ついついお父様のオカルト儀式と関係があるんじゃないかと思ってしまうけどキリエさんならどう見るかしらキリエ recrossed her arm several times peering into the paper with the epitaph copied onto it as though she was looking through it <laughs> これはとても難しいわね鍵を手にせし物はから始まるということは多分鍵を理解していないと話が進まない、right. お手上げではあるけれど一応挑戦してみるわねアユの川が水の流れる川とは限らないようにその鍵もまた本当に鍵の形状をしたものなのか疑わしいわねそうね、暗号とかキーワードの可能性もあるわだってこの鍵は鍵穴に刺すものじゃない第一の番に6人の生贄にえを選ぶためにあるんだものその意味においてはこの鍵は黄金鏡の扉を開くものじゃないと言い切れるわねしかし物騒な鍵です6人もの生贄を選ぶ鍵なんて鍵はどうやって選ぶんやルーレットみたいにくるくる回すんかいなこの鍵がある特定の6人を指し示すいいえある特定の6つを指し示すと言うべきねもしこれが文字通りに「生贄を捧げろ」という意味でないならば。例えばアナグラムかもしれないわアナグラム文字遊びのことかねええさっきローザさんが家系図の話でマリアちゃんの名前に里が含まれてという話をしていた時からずっと考えてるの例えばルドルフさんは懐かしき故郷という単語からずっと地形的、座標的なものを想定しているようだけど、そうじゃないかもしれない。これは、ある種の謎謎。あるいは文字遊びかもしれないって。ごめんなさい。文字遊びとは何ですかああ。カモメカモメ、カチンカチン、みたいなやつさ。顔抜いたらなあにみたいな夏日さんは育ちがいいから知らねえだろ顔を抜くとえ<笑>よしなさい君にはふさわしくない品のない遊びだ Only Natsui didn't get it and had a blank look on her face It seemed that she'd only guessed that the answer had to be something undignified. Going by Rudolph and Eva's sig-、uh, sniggers. たの文字がいっぱい混じった暗号みたいな手紙があるんだけど
他の文字を抜くとそこに正しい文章が浮かび上がるみたいなそんな遊びがあるんですよあああなるほどあ<laughs> It is confusing at first, but I, I think I understand what they're going by. Not so we finally realized the answer to the undignified riddle Rudolph had posed, and her face grew red as she hung her head in embarrassment. Yeah. So, no, no, つまりタヌキの手紙の「タ」が6文字あるっちゅうわけかうんこれはややこしこっちゃな well, it's supposed to. <laughs> 文字遊びかうん not supposed to be easy 日本では子供の遊びという印象が強いが特に英語圏では知識人のこじゃれたユーモアでもあるらしい親父殿が関心を示すことは十分に考えられるねただここで急にわからなくなるのここまでの流れは謎に満ちていながらも非常に順番的だったアユの川それを下れそして鍵を見つけろと非常に順番的そしてその結果六文字の鍵を手に入れたと仮定するんだけどそうすると何から六文字を殺すのかわからなくなるのそういやそうだな六文字を何から引くんだその提示がないな第二の番に「残されし者は」とあるということは少なくともその何かは有限の文字数なのよそこから6文字を抜いて残った文字で話を進めろと読み解けるわなのに最初に提示があるべき何かがわからないのやっぱり文字遊びという過程が間違っているのかしらうーん Everyone crossed their arms and fell silent. It felt like they were about to reach a novel understanding they hadn't managed before, but they stumbled upon one step short. Hmm. Then Hideyoshi's stomach rumbled heartily. That silence was broken by laughter. <laughs> しっかり空腹になってしもたやはり朝食抜きは答えるわなあ<笑> ah, That was a nervous laugh if I ever heard one ナツキここには何かないのかね軽食の備え程度があったはずです用意しますね俺も腹ペコだ上のガキどもも腹ペコだろうよしかし、十八人分も、そして三色もここに備蓄があるのかは、ちょいと疑問だな。そうやな。明日まで長丁場や。一度、屋敷に戻って、厨房で缶詰の類でもあさった方がいいかもしれんな。Is it me or is it... I think my headphones have... Are my headphones breaking? What the fuck? I'm only hearing it coming out of one side of my headphones. I don't know if it's the same for like all of you. I don't know if it's the actual audio itself, like not being a、uh, uh, stereo but mono. I, I don't know. Shit. <laughs> I hope it's just me and not the actual game audio. <laughs> oh, that would be bad. <clears throat> anyway, sorry, I'll just continue on. It's so weird. It's coming out of one ear. <laughs> All they're coming out of my fucking right. What the hell? That's so weird. What the fuck? 
Hold on, I need to check something. <laughs> this is so awkward. All right, figured it out. It's just my headphones. Fantastic. Great. I just bought these too. Fucking fantastic. I love it. Cheap ass equipment. <laughs> it looked like the men had been taken over with the appetites that stopped all thoughts. The atmosphere grew more peaceful, and the Epitaph investigation team split up for the time being. But Eva kept staring at the paper the Epitaph was written on, like she was going to burn a hole through it. Don't do it! Oh my god, please! Yeah, but it's actually a plausible one. But, like, we still don't know what, like, it is yet to play around with those letters, so... Hmm... それが間違ってる可能性もあるわ。エヴァさん、あまり根詰めないで。うん。ありがとう。私の勝手でやってるの。Right. spoke coldly. Of course she did. Kyrie didn't bother her anymore and instead went to help Natsui prepare breakfast. Oh, この because you're the only one that has the obsession with Nissan. Like, what the fuck? Don't you fucking see that for yourself? You're the only one who has this weird obsession of one-upping him. Like, not even Rudolph or Rosa has that fucking mentality. Only you do, you fucking crazy bat. I mean, sure, they all want the money, but... Like, they're not trying to one-up one single person like you are. Anyway, Rosa hung her head unsure as to how she should answer. Too late, she regretted carelessly speaking to her sister when she was in a bad mood. Just walk away. Dude, leave her alone. What the fuck is her problem? She actually gave a plausible feedback with, you know, the connection of the family tree and Maria and... Shut the fuck up, bitch. What have you done? <laughs> like, <laughs> she didn't bring anything to the table. As long as I don't remember. I black out easily, so... <laughs> oh, don't just go saying stuff, please. <laughs> this is a little uncomfortable. Why is this so uncomfortable? I don't understand why! Journey to the Golden Land. Right? Oh my gosh, she's going impatient. In the tenth? Well, I can't really read it. There we go. On the tenth twilight at journey's end, you shall attain to the power of the Golden Land's treasures once and for the last time. Huh. Actually, that is strange. Why is it written out like that? 
みんな黄金鏡なのになぜかここだけ黄金の里なのわざわざ「の」が一文字混じるのよねどうしてここだけ言い方が違うのか漠然と気になっててあその別に意味なんてないわよね No, you're on to something. お父様のことだものちょっとした言葉のあやでたまたま言い方を変えただけかもしれないしね<笑> Yeah, Eva notices as well Oh no, please don't tell me she actually got it No! I don't like this bitch, please No! Oh wait, what the fuck? Uh, what? Oh. Oh, God, this again. We're back to pouting Beatrice over here. God dang it! Oh, yeah. Nani got some other nine of this cup? Maran, Maran. God damn it, why are you pouting like a child? Get the fuck over it! <laughs> I don't know, man. Osorak Madame Gabatora Samani, Iroiro to Ilegio Stanoga, Human Nano de Show. So none of Human Deva Noizo. ふがいないバトラーがようやく笑わに釣り合うレベルになったのでむしろ満足してるくらいだぞ少しバトラー君と仲良くしすぎましたかおおどんどんごせんいんいんいんいんいんいんいんいんいんいんいんいんいんいん
Battler was stubborn. But that was exactly why Fishers would run all through him like breaking china. When he was struck in a fragile spot, that itself should have been its, not its, his weakest weak point. But... ええ、油断が過ぎましたね。前回はバトラクにとって難易度の高いゲームでしたが、どうやら今回はあなたにとって難易度の高いゲームになりそうですよ。割れた壺は決して元に戻ることはない。未練がましく欠けらを拾うより、他の手を考えた方が建設的というもの。しかし、すっかり知恵をつけたバトラにどうしかければよいというのか。ははは。炉の上のクッキーより、あなたが困っている
please act like an old person. Oh my god. What the fuck is this shit? <laughs> oh, music stopped. That's weird. Yeah, clearly. Oh, come on. God damn you. And I was liking you. I was really liking you. But if you're going to help her, god damn it. How is it too much support? It's supposed to be a fair game, and now they're equal. But now if you're going to give her a hint, it's going to give her the advantage. A.K.A. not fair game. So again, like, what? What? <laughs> fair game, I fucking ass. What the fuck? <laughs> this is bullshit. <laughs> そうであろう、そうであろう。ちょっとファックアップ。頼むよ、お師匠様。せめて今後のヒントだけでも。ああ。ヒントだけですよ。意味は自分で考えるのですよ。ああ。自分で考えるからさ、頼むよ。Jesus Christ, it's like she went back to being 14 years old. What the fuck is this shit? <laughs> In a really fucked up way. <laughs> Considering how she acted like uh, a great and mighty witch in front of Bachelor, she, the way she acted when she, he wasn't around was truly pathetic. Uh, it's, it's, oh, yeah. Regilia sighed at how childish Bito still was, despite all the time that had passed. Then why are you rewarding her? If she's still acting like a fucking childish little brat, then why are you... <sighs> Fuck off. <laughs> no, I don't. The hell? Huh. そうです。乱暴かつ請求な方法が常に最善の選択肢とは限らないということです。言われなくても分かっておるわ。わらわが勝ちを焦りすぎたことはすでに反省しておる。意味はよく考えることですよ。それからバトラ君も少々誤解があったようですが、あなたにも誤解があるようです。あなたはこのゲームの勝利条件を理解していますか？Right。バトラを屈服させることの他に何があるというのか？That wasn't the condition for the game. That wasn't the condition for the game. The game was for Battler to accept you as a witch. Not surrender. Right. あなたの勝利はバトラ君を屈服させることではありませんよ。バトラ君にあなたという存在を認めてもらうことではありませんか? Yeah. The way the music is and how this is progressing right now, I got a feeling... I... <laughs> it's very cliche. Where enemies become friends and become, you know, romantic interests and shit like that. And I have a very obvious feeling that that's where this is progressing. And I'm not saying I'm not into it. But, I mean, we saw how everything was at the very beginning. And it's slowly progressing to a different route, per se. And it's very weird. <laughs> very, very weird. <laughs> Uh, I just, I don't know what else to say about it. Anyway, I'll just shut up. I might be wrong. Maybe I'm just getting these weird feelings for no absolute reason. Maybe I'm just going local, but... <laughs> I, 
Again, I could be wrong. I don't know. <laughs> what the fuck? I mean, I'm not one against growling, so. <laughs> Beetle growled like a dog in a bad mood. Regilia shrugged her shoulders, snickering at her disciple, who was as short tempered as ever. Ah, she's gonna leave it there, huh? Hmm. Right. I think she means that instead of using violence and all those wicked means that you've been using up until now, you should approach a little bit more nicely. Hmm. Instead of approaching him as an enemy or whatever, approach him as a maybe an acquaintance on equal terms, on f a fair game as this was supposed to be. <笑>ああ。お師匠様もあっと驚くような気策を披露してみせるぞ。ライ。それは楽しみですね。バトラ君はそれにどう挑むのかしら。あなたの検討も祈っていますよ。はあ。バトラのついでに。<laughs> okay. So that was the end of that. Ah! Keeps happening. Every time I click out of the fucking thing. Oh my god. I'm just checking the time of the fucking... Uh... Hey, <laughs> you're back, whoever the fuck you are, <laughs> Eva's weird imagination friend thing, what, <laughs> what, <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> it's me from the past, but in my imaginary mind. Ugh. As my mind grew vague and I pretended to fight my drowsiness while sinking deeper and deeper into the sofa, I scolded myself. Man, she crazy! Stop talking while I'm talking, you little rude bitch! <laughs> Sorry. Yes. Sleep. Now. Fuck you. So are you, Kenedo. Kononazo are hontoni nankayo? Riddles are hard. I don't like them. Chienoa no honga, madam Ashdawa. Tokeru te kotonga zetani yaksok sarete irumono. Demo kono hibun no nazoa. So resra mo yaksok sarete iruka wakarana. Watashua. Still hazy, I looked at the notebook I've been holding the whole time. It was open to a page with the epitaph, which I must have stared at hard enough to burn holes into it. So many hundreds of nights, I lost count. That page, it's truly a door. What? <laughs> what? That page is truly a door. Huh? On the other side lies the golden land. Oh, okay. It's, that's what she meant. Metaphor. The place I'd been wanting to drag myself to no matter how the effort ever since. What? No, I read that wrong. Sorry. 
no matter the effort ever since I was a child. In a place I was never able to reach. Am I touching the door with both hands? With a book? No. The door right there in front of me, ready to be opened, and yet still unable to reach the other side? So, yo. Anata, Tobira ni teo kaketeir. So, so reo tchikara ippa hiraku no. So, ste, so no Tobira ni kakareta moji o yomu no yo. Tchikara ippa hiraku? Tobira ni kakareta moji o yomu. Hmm. Strain your eyes. See through to the thing beyond the epitaph written in the notebook. Natsukashiki-kokyo-wa-watashitachi-no-sozo-wo-kitto-uragiranai-wa-otousama-ga-yuyitsu-natsukashimu-kako-wa-shounen-jidai-dake-da-mono-so-ne-nara-ayu-no
I'm sure that was what it was. It, um... I'm sure if my memory isn't wrong, that it's probably the case. Um... No. I don't have to rely on my vague memory. I should be able to figure that out immediately by searching the library. By the way, what what are you exactly? I don't know who this... Like, it only... What the fuck are you? <laughs> I got my suspicions, but... Because, you know, she said magic so many fucking times. I can only fucking guess, right? <laughs> uh... I don't, I don't- I don't like this. Is this one of Beatrice's pieces that she's introduced? Like, if so, I think... I, I, I don't know, this is so random, it popped up in this one episode. Like, what the fuck is this? I don't know what the hell she is! <sighs> it's so weird, I don't know what to think. Does it even pop up in the fucking... Whoop, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, did they did the, the, the characters, right? Yeah, there's no like, there's no like younger Eva here. It's just, yeah. Anyway. So Eva, that any more kids are not young. Shock away. Ah, so come here. Oto sama no shosai kara afre dashita katai hon ga yamazumi yo. Kitto, watashi tachi no gimon ni kotaete kureru hon ga mitsukaru wa. Isoi de, kore ga shougai de, saisho de saigo no. Okay, that's what the fuck. Um, that was okay. You know what? Don't think much of it. <laughs> Don't think much of it. <laughs> when Natsu tried to lay a blanket over her, Eva suddenly jumped up. エヴァ。眠いなら無理をしなくていいぞ。お前から休みなさい。ありがとう。ちょっとお化粧室に行って顔を洗ってくるわね。無理よ、先頭。休んだ方がいいで。また体に触るで。本当に大丈夫だってば
ローザもわからないローザもグドンよ OK you're supposed to be the you're supposed to be sisters fuck off 昔っからあきれるくらいにね OK I don't care what happened to her in the past now she's just a royal bitch <laughs> come the fuck on そうあなたにグドンと思い込ませて不必要な恨みを買わない程度には賢いと思ってるあったこれになら乗ってるかしら<sighs> I pulled the book out and flipped through the pages <laughs> これあゆの皮なるほどあゆの皮とはそういう意味なのねもたもたしないでさらに調べて<笑>分かってる川を下ればやがて里あり里って町や村って意味人口密集地だものそんなのいくらでもあるわよどうして思考を停止するの嫌ならやめちゃえば後ろ宮家の当主は切り絵に譲っちゃえばこれがその最初で最後のチャンスなのよ Calm the fuck down. What the fuck? <laughs> Jesus. Sato te nani? Sato te do you imi? Kono kawa o kudaru to sato na te aru no? Sono sato ni te. Futari na kuchi ni kishi o sagure. Kishi o? Wakatte ru? I don't know what that kanji was, so I don't know. Right before my eyes, the pieces that I hadn't been able to understand at all began to snap. Snap again. Into place all by themselves. Like a puzzle. I couldn't even remember to close my open mouth. I'm sure a fly doesn't go fucking crawling in there. <laughs> my throat. <laughs> God damn it, that's nasty. My throat grew completely dry. Is it really okay for this to be the answer? R really? Really? Damn. これは全然六文字じゃないわこれが答えに間違いないって断言できるけどこれは全然六文字に満たないまた思考停止 At this point I'm starting to think that the current Eva is not aware of the past Eva being there Like, is she aware? I don't. This is so confusing. I don't know what the fuck this is. Oh my god. I thought at first that the adult Eva was just having like a fucking mental crisis and like developed a second personality that was her younger self and she was talking to like an imaginary friend or something. <laughs> I thought that was all that was. But now I'm second guessing it. And I'm starting to think. I, I, I don't. Oh my god, I don't know what the fuck to think anymore. Nara, so they're all Rokumos, they're your men, ho ho, Kanga, no, sir? Oh my, it's gonna, I'm not a Shirabena, sir? Stokotaiva. And to be honest, the music and the loud winds is not helping. <laughs> like, Jesus. So they're all Tagateva, damn it. So they got Shinjira, and I know. とっとと泣き寝入りでもしてへそでも帰って死んじゃえば Jesus Christ 12345666文字つけたこれが重
国境への鍵私たちの子供の頃からの夢への鍵その鍵を刺す鍵穴はあそこしかない生贄にえに捧げるのはきっとあれもうわかるよねう,う,う,うわー Okay. <laughs> My mind is fucked. <laughs> what the fuck is this? I don't know what to think anymore. And I did it again. God damn it. I don't know what to think. Good. こっちへ回れってことよねこいつらが私をこっちへ回れと誘ってるもの I mean, I don't know why it's not saying her name I mean, that's clearly Eva but oh well, oh sure, whatever My heart leapt because there, gaping wide was an opened mouth in the eerie darkness <gasps> な、何よこれ The fuck? I don't know, can I see it please? When I strained my eyes peering into the darkness, I saw something that looked like a light switch. In addition, there was a switch with open and close written on it. Oh my god. Really? <laughs> really? When I resolutely pushed the switch, Rough lights like you'd find in a coal mine. In a coal mine, eh? Turned on sporadically. Making a staircase that stretched underground come hazily into view. Oh my god. Look at that curve. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, enough about being weird. Early enough, it looked even more gloomy with the lights turned on. Well, duh. Special effect. Whee! Near the light switch was that open and close switch. It would probably open or close this, but if the open part happened to be broken, I might be shut away in this creepy underground area for all eternity. Ha 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 ha, perfect. So for the time being, I didn't touch that switch. And as I readied my gun again, I slowly went down the stairs. Hmm. The ceiling was very high, so it didn't feel cramped. On the contrary, it felt as though a cool breeze was blowing upwards, and that creepiness seemed to form a sort of aura. As I readied my gun and carefully stared forwards, I descended the stairs. The walls, the stairs, the lights, all of them were very old-fashioned. It was easy to suspect that this had been built back when the mansion had been constructed on the island. There were cracks in the ceiling, and water clung to the walls, constantly dripping down. That water fell into a gutter that had been set up alongside the stairs, then quickly and silently flowed into the underground darkness. As though it was telling me to go faster, the staircase kept turning back on itself. I don't know how far I've gone, but I think it's much deeper than one floor. Eventually, a rough metal door showed itself, and there, characters had been written in a dark red paint. They had probably been written a long time ago. On the tenth twilight, at journey's end, you shall attain to the power of the Golden Land's treasures, once and for the last time. Hmm. My heart, which was 
already about to explode, jumped about even more as soon as I recognized those deep red characters. There's no mistake. This is the last stop. Father's Golden Land. I calmed my throbbing heart, somehow regained my composure, and readied my gun again. But since in the end I couldn't open the door with my gun held in both hands, I lowered the gun, carefully hid my breathing, and opened the door. <laughs> my first impression when I saw the room was that it might be linked to one of the rooms in the mansion. That's right. It had exactly the same atmosphere about it as the sealed VIP room on the second floor. But this was underground, so there were no windows. There was only the solemn light of a gland at chandelier. But even though it was dimly lit by the faint light, the quality of the interior was more than enough to take your breath away. Whoa, holy fucking shit. There's a fucking bed, there's a pile of gold right there. Why is there a bed down here? What the fuck? <laughs> okay. A bed with a canopy and a rocking chair that looked like it could be comfortable to sit in. An extravagant sofa and carpets. The room was like a dream every girl yearns for at least once. And yet, since it was an underground hidden room with no windows, it felt more like a hidden house of a witch. I'd never swallowed the legend of Beatrice, Witch of the Forest. However, after being shown this room, it certainly became hard to doubt that she actually had existed and had lived in this room. Dareka. Even though I was completely shocked by this room, I carefully, no, timidly searched the interior with my gun raised. And at the back of the room I found it. <laughs> That's not a sound I was expecting, but okay. <laughs> Oh, mama. <laughs> Look at all that dough. Mm -mm. Delish. My gasp came out strangely, like a bunny being choked. That's oddly specific there. After all, after finding something like this, no one would be able to stop that kind of stupid voice from leaking out. Eh, true, maybe. Mine, mine, all mine! <laughs> okay, he didn't have to scream. On the opposite side of the Kabanapi bed, it was piled up in a massive heap. It was a mountain, a mountain of gold ingots. Ingots. <laughs> yeah. My throat. Of course, they weren't piled up carelessly in a way that could damage. Sorry, not good. Wood damage the dignity of this room. A beautiful scarlet satin weave was laid on the g mountain of gold, creating a beautiful three-colored mix between the red, the gold, and the black of the deep darkness. Damn, look at all that shit. Mmm. <laughs> I know it's just a game, but damn. Ooh, what I would do to get that. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, it was as though, when the witch slept on this bed, the gold would be a respectful... How do you pronounce this? Chamberlain waiting on her? I don't know if I pronounced that right, probably not. Nobly refined, gracefully, beautifully. It was attentively piled there with an imposing air. When I tried to grab a single gold ingot, I was surprised at its weight. It was probably about 10 kilograms. Just this ingot would probably be worth more than 10 million. 
The Ushiromiya family crest, the one-winged eagle, eagle, not eagle, what the fuck, was lightly imprinted on it. It was hard to tell whether it had worn away or whether the impression had been made carelessly in the first place. But it was certainly the crest of the one-winged eagle. Just how many ingots were piled up there? By doing a quick count, here and there, and judging by the height, there had to be a few hundred at least. My mind's already gone blank, so I can't do the math well. Even a moderate guess would put it above several billion yen. I was wondering when I was going to end. <laughs> In front of the mountain of gold, I spread my arms and looked up at the ceiling. A laugh without a trace of dignity flowed out from my entire body. I had no intention of laughing in a weird way, but but I couldn't hold back the happy feeling that was flowing through me. My older brother probably wouldn't accept his loss just because I found this gold, but from now on, there would be no changing the fact that I had been the one to find it. To steal away the headship of the family, some more subtle bargaining would probably still be required. But after everything I've gone through up until now, that's a completely trivial problem. Even if I lose out on the Ushiromiya family headship, I already have 20 billion yen worth of gold. My ears are violated. そんなのは。もう立たざる私たち家族はずっと幸せ。そして上司にも莫大なお金を残してあげることができる。他の親戚たちなど、やがてはボツラクして消えるわ。その時、上司はこの黄金を使って。I didn't mean to cut her off, but I'm kind of glad I did because she's screeching and hollering and oh my god, it hurts my ears. Oof. Like that. My ears got raped. Oh, God. <clears throat> it happened. My wish was granted. That dream I have wished for ever since I was born into this world as Ushirumiya Eva had been granted completely at this very moment. My husband and I will be happy for all eternity. And I can also give my only son, George, eternal happiness. There's no way I'll waste it on foolish pleasures. My older brother has chewed the Ushiwamiya family to bits, but George and I will revive it. 
and that means I truly have succeeded the Ushuomiya family headship. I need to read. Thank you. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's right. After this, never again will we be smothered by sad nights. おめでとう、私。おめでとう。後ろ宮エヴァ。私たちの悲しい反省は今ここに全ての念願が叶って消化されたわ。あなたのおかげよ。あなたの魔法があったからこのチャンスに恵まれた。あ、そう、she だからこそ。おめでとう。私たち。ありがとう。私。ありがとう。後ろ見合えば。今日までくじけなくてよかった。悲しみに溺れ、あがくことを忘れなくてよかった。How much longer is this going to last? <laughs> Jesus Christ. これは私の魔法。私たちの魔法。あなたの魔法は本物だったわ。森の魔女ベアトリーチェなんてすでに幻想。I don't think she'll like you saying that. <laughs> uh, she's probably gonna show up now. あなたこそが本当の魔法が使える本当の魔女。そうよ。あなたこそが今や。Oh no. With the Golden Land, you get the desire of one wish, right? She just proclaimed that she is now the Golden Witch Beatless. Oh fuck. I got a feeling something big is about to happen. Oh, maybe not. Okay. I mean, the music was hyping me up. What the fuck? <laughs> okay, I was wrong. I should just shut the fuck up and st stop batting about bullshit. I don't know. Just, okay. <laughs> Eva decided to leave for the time being. When she climbed the stairs again, trying to leave the secret place, she saw a creepy, swaying human shadow blocking her path, and her dreamlike state was blown away. <laughs> Okay, this is actually creepy. What the fuck? For an instant, she believed that the true master of this room, the real Beatrice, had appeared. It seemed that the other person was also holding a gun. Oh, uh, what the fuck? The two of them were pointing guns at each other. Who the fuck? I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say... Kyrie? Maybe? And eventually they each realized who the other was. What the fuck? Rosa. Oh, what? Nesan. Okay, this is weird. <laughs> what the fuck is gonna happen? Oh, I don't like this at all. I think one of them is about to kill one another. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Oh, God, what the fuck? Oh, God. <laughs> this is so weird. Continue. Oh, she's about to fucking kill you. 
Oh, Rosa, you might, you might want to just hightail. Hightail. Hightail! Anata koso. Konna tokoro e nan no goyo? Nesan ni hinto o agerun ja nakatta wa? So datta nara. Koko ni tadori tsuita no wa. Kitto watashi ga ichiban datta. Zannen yo. It seemed that, that Rosa knew where this say uh this staircase what uh, went. Ah, <laughs> Sorry, my mind is like traveling so many miles per hour. God. <laughs> okay, anyway. And what was waiting ahead of her? You are What's about to happen? Oh fuck. アユの川に悩みすぎたわ。アユなんて大した意味ないじゃない。そんなことないわよ。what the fuck do you think? <laughs> what the fuck? Jibun Yeah, and once you do pow right in the back. Obienaide, Nessa. What a shua motomoto Toshu got that in Narukanate, kill me nai. Ushiromia no sekidate, kill me nai shine.本音を言うと、自分が当主になるんだってずっと言われ散らしてたクラウス兄さんから。姉さんがその座を奪うなら、帰ってこ君がいいくらいよ。本気で言ってるの？もちろんよ。私は後ろ宮兄弟のはぐ
私も姉さんのこと兄弟で一番信用してるわよ<笑>私も黄金が見たいわ見る私ももう一度見たくなったわこの目で見たにもかかわらずまだ現実感が湧かないのあなたと一緒に見て確かに存在することをもう一度確かめないと It would be fucking hilarious if all of a sudden it was gone Zippo just snap of the fingers gone Thanos up and fuck that shit. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. Hell yeah. Let's go back to the Eva started descending the staircase once more. However, she didn't carelessly expose her back to Rosa. Even though at a glance it looked like Rosa had lowered her guard, she did. Definitely didn't show any signs of carelessness. They say they trust each other, but they really don't. <laughs> they really fucking don't. <laughs> <laughs> Then they reached that room of the witch once more. Rosa also gasped, stunned speechless by the vast amount of gold. Rosa and Eva walked absent mindedly through the Rose Garden. They had left the guest house secretly, so they had to be careful when they re returned. Returned through the guest house. Do, 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 do. Okay, how long have we been going for? Oh my god! Okay. <laughs> That's a long time. It's gonna be a long episode, folks! i m a g a i n It was time to snap to it and keep their guards up. おめでとう、姉さん。ありがとう。姉さんが決めたのよね。後ろ宮家当主後継ぎの肩書きに5割って。ここで聞いてくるとはね。今やそれは、クラウス兄さんのことではない。だから、姉さんの取り分が5割とその4分の1で、125億。すごい取り分じゃない私は25億で満足よルドルフ兄さんだって文句は言わないわ文句を言うのはクラウス兄さんだけでしょうねええー、そうね何しろ六軒島の実質的管理者は兄さんだものそしてその敷地内に黄金があった以上第一発見者が私でもうまくことを運ばないとややこしいことになりそうよならないわよ。そこまでをも想定して、私たちは夕べ散々議論を尽くしたんじゃない。果たしてそううまくいくかしらね。私はもう、すっかり興奮は冷めてるわよ。ここからの調整の方がむしろ問題ね。それは、新しき後宮家当主の問題ね。姉さんが楽しむべき問題よ。私には関係ないわ。ふ<笑>言うわね。第二発見者として、姉さんに協力するから、どうか例の前払い分。私の一億五千万だけは、三月までにお願い。ええ、いいわ。私に協力するなら、それくらい気前よく払うわ。私は兄さんじゃないもの。<笑>とりあえずは兄さんたちを驚かせましょう。実際の場所は伏せるにしても、早くクラウス兄さんの驚く顔が見たいわ。<笑>ちょっと待ってよ、ローザ。それをみんなに伝えるのはまだ待って。えどうして決まってるでしょ相手はあの尊大なクラウス兄さんにずる賢いルドルフなのよやがては発表するにしても今はまだ早いわ
どうやって話を進めるか慎重に検討してからじゃないとせっかく見つけた黄金を全て兄さんにかすめ取られることもありえるわよ。イヴァ thought she was saying something extremely natural. So when she saw Rosa's expression suddenly cloud over, she was a little surprised. 何か不満なのクラウス兄さんたちの性分はあんただってよく知っているでしょうが。姉さんそれはルール違反よ。Oh? Wait, what? What rules? I forgot, what? 何の話よ。私たちは誰が黄金を見つけてもすぐに報告するというルールになっていたはずよ。Oh, yeah. それをしぶればルールの根底が崩れて、後で何かの火種になるかもしれないわ。クラウス兄さんが狡猾であるならばあるほどにそのルール違反は後でこじれるわ。ああ、true, true。バカ言わないで。ああ、you're the one being stupid here。ここは兄さんの島なのよ。そしてさっきの黄金はキャッシュじゃない。10トンもの莫大な監禁物の山なのよ。運び出して現金化するには相当の手間をかけるわそしてそれはこの島を実行支配している兄さんにあらゆる面で有利に働くわそんなこともわからないのあんたはそういう腹の探り合い私は好きじゃないの私は自分の取り分の25億をはっきり確定させたいだけもちろん、姉さんが私に現金25億を今すぐ渡してくれるなら。How's that possible? <laughs> She can't do that. <laughs> あとは姉さんがどう交渉しようと買ってよ。Unless she means like, give me the gold bars right now. That equals up to 2.5 billion in cash that will. <laughs> I mean, we just left the fucking area out of <laughs> でも、私の取り分が手元に入るまでは、huh? 私は。兄弟のルールを遵守するわ。So basically, either give me my portion of the gold right now, or well,、uh, you can go fuck yourselves and I'll tell everyone that you found the gold and blah 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 to keep up the, the siblings' rules. Yeah, okay, okay. I don't know. I kind of. She makes a good point. I don't know about you, Eva. I, I, I don't know. Anta, Nisan no Zurugashkosa, or Nani Mo Akatenai. It wasn't that Rosa didn't understand the craftiness of her older siblings. In that sense, Rosa more or less understood why Eva was being so cautious. Well, what the fuck? <laughs>、um, okay, why did the text box.、Uh, what? Oh, what? No, no, something broke. No! Fuck! Oh, come the fuck on. Why? Why, did, why is it doing this? Oh no, did I break something? <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> come on! I just want to enjoy this, man. Come on. <sighs> Alright, I'll read on for the next few lines. And if it doesn't correct itself, then I'm gonna have to do something.、Uh, but in her heart, she couldn't clear away her suspicion that Eva wanted to do, keep all of the gold hers to herself. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because she knew that Eva was at least as crafty as her other siblings. In other words, Rosa wanted to put a stop to any chance Eva had to keep the gold all to herself by quickly informing the siblings of the gold's discovery. And I'm not seeing it correct itself. Okay. Okay, that was weird. I'm, I'm gonna go ahead. Okay, yeah, okay, good, good. It's fi it fixed itself, but I'm gonna go ahead and save anyway, because that scared the shit out of me. Oh, God, I did not like that at all. That was weird. Rosa, I don't want to hear you. I don't want to h そういう言い方をしているつもりはないわ
でもあなたが本当にそのお金を必要としているなら私に協力した方が現実的よ兄さんたちに話せばその当然の取り分すらもなくなってしまうかもしれないそれは嫌でしょ For a while, the, sus the severe expression that she had never shown to her sister before rose to Rosa's face. There wasn't even a trace of her restraint as a younger sister. There was just the ruthlessness. No, the seriousness of a single human arguing about a vast sum of wealth. Eva made light of it, chuckling. Yare, yare. 物騒な殺人事件が起こったばかりでその犯人がまだ島の中にいるかもしれないってのにこんなところで立ち話なんて私たちもつくづく不用心ねどうせ使用人たちの茶番でしょこの島で殺人事件なんてもともと起こってないのよあらやっぱりそう思う6人の死亡状況ではっきり説明がつくわあの6人の密室は外部犯行では絶対に作れない南條先生は「全員死んでる」って言ったけどあれも嘘ね No, why do you have to bring him into this? <laughs> He's actually、uh, just a freaking innocent bystander all the damn time God damn it これはすべてお父様が仕組んだ手の込んだお芝居よ You, did you see his body? He was charred alive. I, I, uh, whatever. Yeah, sure. Some of them are playing dead with their fucking guts built open. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Okay. Oh my god. Is that special effects? Are they filming a movie? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> あんたがそれに気づくとは意外ね。Oh, shut the fuck up, Eva. 割と怯えてるように見えたから、そこまでは気づいてないと思って。Yeah, you knew everything all along. Yeah, of course. What the fuck ever. 私、そういう場の空気は読む方なの。You two are such bitches. <laughs> おかげさまで鍛えられたから。I hate everyone in this damn thing except for Battler. God damn it. Oh, God damn it. I'm just a cynical bastard. Forget, forget what I'm saying. <laughs> That's right. Come to think of it, now that the servants are dead, almost everyone on this island is a member of the Ushiromiya family. As for Nanjo, he proclaimed the deaths of the servants. But when the relatives began to discuss the riddle of the epitaph, He disappeared off to the second floor as if he didn't want to get in the way. Isn't that because you're all like made it so uncomfortable for him to be there? Like, of course he, he wouldn't like move to the second floor. What? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> oh, shut the fuck up. Well, here's the thing. <laughs> It really was. Asinoyubinokazgaonajistayo, きっとすでに知るところよだからこそ早く姉さんが勝利者であると宣言すべききっとお父様がどこからともなく現れて手を叩きながら姉さんこそが後継ぎだと宣言してくれるわ<笑>まあでも私は姉さんから1億5000万を無心しなくてはならない以上何も逆らうことなんかできないわね私の言うことを聞いて兄さんたちには黙っているということね
そこをはっきりさせなさいローザ私は話したいわルールを定めたのはついゆうべよそれを保護にすべきではないわもちろん必ず兄弟の前で発表はするわでもその前によく状況を確認したいのよ10トンの黄金の運び出しそして監禁公平な分配それを兄さんに出し抜かれずに行える裏付けが取れるまでしばらく考える時間が欲しいそれまで発表を待ちたいというだけの話よ決して独り占めしたくて内緒にするわけじゃないわやがてはきっとみんなに発表するのねええー、もちろんよ私だって早く兄さんの鼻を明かしてやりたいもの姉さんの言う考える時間というのはどの程度のものなのそんなの考えてみなくちゃわからないわ一晩あればそれは十分一晩ってそんなの約束できないわよ次期当主の姉さんに敬意を表して一晩は姉さんに協力するわ今年の親族会議は台風が通り過ぎて船が迎えに来る明日の朝までそうね海猫の鳴く頃にはお開きにな、ah, <笑>そこまでは私も黙ってることにするそれ以上の考える時間が必要だというのならその時に改めて相談しましょう私は姉さんの立場を最大限汲み取って協力するわあんた食えないわね。OK、that was weird。びっくりよ。That there's... OK、nothing around me。What the fuck was that? それだけのたくましさがあったなんて。Y'all heard that too, right? There was like a sound effect of paper folding or something like that? I don't know what the hell that was。女はこう持つと強くなるって本当ね。マリアを産んで私はそれを強く自覚したわ<笑>分かったわとりあえずはあんたの協力に感謝するわ明日の話は明日すればいいことよええそうね姉さんが黄金を独り占めにするなんて考えない公平な当主跡継ぎだと信じてるわもちろんでしょちゃんと黄金は兄弟で山分けするわよ。Oh, いやよこれは私が見つけた私が私たちが秘文の謎を解いたんだからだからこの黄金は全て私のものだってば誰にも譲らないわ。私が後ろ宮家の当主なのよ。私が私が Uh, wait, what? Excuse me? The witch inside Eva claimed exclusive possession and a loud voice. Oh, God, my brain can't handle everything. The witch inside Eva. Okay, so she was an actual witch this whole time. I'm like, what? I. What? <laughs> I don't know what the hell I just did. <laughs> I'm just scratching up my face, and all of a sudden, I'm <laughs> oh my god. I'm two hours in. Officially, it says two hours right now, and I'm like, what the fuck? <sighs> okay. Of course, that didn't reach even close to Rosa's ears, and it probably didn't even reach Eva's either. And fade back to black. Oh, come the f. 
感でもわらわがそれを認めようぞそなたこそ魔女の秘文に選ばれし正当なる後ろ宮家の当主よ So this one had her own existence as well? But how is that possible? She was all. I. I. Again, I don't know what the fuck is going on! <sighs> so, like, what? As long as someone believes in magic, then even their imaginary second personality can have an existence of their own? Is that it? Is that the world we're living in? And. 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 Umineko, when seagulls cry and shit like that? What the fuck is this bullshit? <laughs> <laughs> Hi. She doesn't even have a name. <laughs> well, she does, but it's it's like there's nothing there. It's just quote where you are. I guess it's a surprise. I guess she has a new name, except. I, I. I. Well, we've never actually seen her name. She was just, you know, younger Eva. I. I don't fucking know anymore. I'm so conf. Mm, I'm. I'm confused. Help. <laughs> Shutting up. Maybe Beatrice was happy that Eva had called her by her own name. She cackled cheerfully. In concert with that laugh, gold butterflies crept up as though a storm of gold dust was spinning around the room. And the room shone the color of gold. Okay, so wait. Why is Beatrice appearing now to this, I guess, version of Eva instead of the one that actually found it, the current Eva? I'm like so confused on why. Just what? Fucking punching my fucking forehead. What the fuck is this shit? Ah, uh, I hate watching things blind. It makes me fucking just want to fucking start punching things because of this frustrating bullshit. Okay. <laughs> あの手紙の差し出しにはあなた。なら私はすべての黄金と後ろ宮家の家督を引き継げるのよね。あなたはそうあの手紙に記したわ。そして私はその挑戦に打ち勝った。うん。わらわはそれを認めようぞ。今や
she fearfully accepted it and realized that it was a ring. これ。今より変換された。後ろ宮家当主の証であるit certainly wasn't a fake. Without a doubt, it was the real thing. She dreamed of receiving this ring some day, focused on this day over and over again, and it was now finally a certainty. This ring has now designated her as the head, and had been handed over to her. And, timidly, she put it on the middle finger of her left hand, Uh, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> in that instant, she felt a deep emotion welling up inside her that she had never felt before. Her mind grew blank. Both eyes were opened. That ring was on her own finger. Not in a dream, but in reality. <laughs> お父様の指輪。そなたはそれ。そのように本当に<笑> そして so wait, she had two titles? What? Oh fuck. The hell? Eva gulped. The chandelier light which had seemed dim now felt too bright. Whoa, what the fuck? The instant Beatrice made that proclamation, everything was buried by a gold, golden sparkle and changed into a majestic place that looked like an audience hall. In the audience hall, there was a crowd of Beatrice's minions and brethren, as well as countless gold butterflies celebrating this first succession ceremony in a thousand years. When she looked, she saw Beatrice in a throne that only the Endless Witch was permitted to sit on, holding a golden staff, reigning with a dazzling dignity. Without being ordered by anyone, Eva automatically kneeled, hanging her head. A goat attendant respectfully handed Beatrice a golden staff in the shape of the one-winged eagle. After Beatrice stood up and received that staff, she lay the tip of it on Eva's shoulders and spoke. 
It was a proclamation 1,000 years in coming. ソナタに無限の魔法のすべて無限と黄金の両魔女の称号を引き継いソナタはこれに我が名ベアトリーチャを名乗るがよかろうさあ表を上げそして立ちてこの杖を受け取れ Oh fuck! Now it has her name there. Eva Beatrice. The fuck? Uh, huh. Eva stood up dizzily and took the magic staff from Beatrice's hands. Her hand was trembling slightly. As soon as she grasped that staff, she was wrapped up in the brilliant sparkle of gold, as though gold butterflies were flowing out from inside of her. In the instant she succeeded the golden witch, Eva felt something in the depths of her soul to be reborn. To describe it in a word, it was energy. Energy with a gold color. It felt like she was waking up, as though she had been half asleep ever since she had been born and was opening her eyes for the first time. It felt as though her true eyes inside her eyes were opened for the first time in her life. What the fuck? Uh, what? Well, there's them Delta and Burnkestel. And some of the sisters, Ranave. There's the portrait back there. What the fuckity fuck? <laughs> Basically copied you. さあ、一同の者たちにそなたの姿を見せてやるがよい。そなたこそが今や新しき魔女であることを知らしめてやるがよい。Eva, <laughs> no, the new Beatrice turned around timidly. When she did, the witch's minions, which filled the vast audience hall, honored her with an applause that sounded like the roaring of the sea. I don't like this. I don't like it at all. What the fuck is this shit? Oh my god, it's a new one. Atarashi やんちゃな先代と違い、あなたには無限の魔女にふさわしい落ち着きを期待していますね。お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、
常におそばに控えております何か不自由がございましたらいつでもお申し付けくださいあありがとうどの上は口は悪いが頼れる男だ Why does that always happen? Shut the fuck up. Major to stay no Atarashi Hibi and Otomadoiva. So no Tokoni sold us to Reba Hare de Aros. So ste, send I Beatrice Sama. Yo yak coast the white ectanoni. Correjo no Tsukayo Yusares. Totemo Zamendas. Kono Senneka. Totemo Tanoshku Sugosa Sete Takimasta. 深く感謝いたします、うん、そなたとの千年退屈はなかったぞ新しき魔女の世話どうかよろしく頼むはい先代ベアトリーチェ様の最後のご命令この炉の上しかと聞き届けました感謝しなさいよあんたの魔女継承の推薦人にサインしてあげたんだからねつまり私がサインしなかったらあんたは魔女になれなかったってわけだから少しは感謝なさいよね So she's the reason that this one became What? What? こちらは絶対の魔女ラムダデルタ教。Oh, why the fuck you son of a bitch? そなたの無限の魔女継承には元老院の魔女の推薦が必要なのだ。Even witches have said it. Fuck politics. ラムダデルタ教はそなたを推薦され後見人となってくだされたどうも What the fuck that face? What the fuck? ちょっとベアとこの子感謝が足りないわやっぱ推薦やめる推薦人は子供の使いじゃないでしょうサインしたならきっちり責任取りなさいよラムダデルタ教は絶対の魔女でもあられる絶対の魔女は運命を強固にする絶対の運命を好まれるそなたの今日までの努力をとても気に入り高く評価してくだされたのだまあ不遇の少女時代と報われない努力にねちょっとだけ同情しただけなんだから別にかわいそうだからとか思ったわけじゃないわようぬぼれないでよねツーンだ私から見ればあなたの継承はまあ奇跡というよりは偶然ね私が推薦するには値しない<笑>こちらはベルンカステル教とても気難しい御人でなだがこうして参列し祝福してくれただけでも行幸というものよ前年ぶりの珍しいイベントだから来ただけ美味しいお酒も出るそうだし新しきベアトリーチェ様ぜひ私たちにもご挨拶させてくださいはの役割を果たすくせ者ぞろいだが
役には立つぞ手足とするがよい常にベアトリーチ様のおそばに何事もお命じください必ずや遂行してご覧に入れます Uh, okay. <laughs> Even after that, many nobles and minions visited and offered words of congratulations for the new witch. As she responded to them confusedly, she felt as though she was glowing, not glowing, growing lightheaded due to lacks of oxygen. Okay, why? <laughs> she couldn't tell if this was something real or unreal. But there was just one thing she could understand. A feeling of achievement at being permitted to call herself the Golden Witch. That alone was the truth she could definitely understand. I don't like this. Not at all. This is... エヴァおばさんが新しいベアトリーチェに魔女になっちまったっていうのかそんなバカなわらわも驚いておるまさかあの碑文を解く者が現れるとはなしかしそういうルールだわらわはそれにのっとり黄金の魔女の座と我が名を引き継がねばならぬ驚かれるには値しますまいお嬢様はもとよりそういうルールを手紙に記されて講じされておりますエヴァ様がそれを最初に成し遂げたそれだけのことでございますワルギリアいるかはいおりますともこの茶番が意味するところは何だおかしな魔女たちが次々と現れる描写はあいつのざれ言だとしてもこれじゃまるでエヴァおばさんが魔女になっちまったみたいじゃないか落ち着いて黄金の魔女という称号が継承されあるいは以後自称するだけに過ぎませんこの継承式はそれをあの子の解釈で演出したものに過ぎないに違いない同じ手に何度もかからないでそそうだなこの盛大な式典は全てまやかしだだがエヴァおばさんが碑文の謎を解いたことまでは事実そしてそれは同時に後宮家の家督を受け継いだことも指すそして10トンの黄金を得たということはエヴァおばさんが黄金の魔女を自称してもいいというクソ相変わらずややこしいことをしやがってやれやれ無粋なる人間には式典の荘厳さを介することもできぬかまあよ空気を読めぬのが人間というものそなたを哀れには思うが責めはせぬぞかわいそうな人を見るような目で見やがっている<笑>だがとりあえず確認をする必要はあるそれはあの若返ったエヴァおばさんみたいな分身 Am I gonna finally get the fucking answer I want? <laughs> What the fuck is this shit? つまり新しいベアトリーチェとかいうやつの定義についてだあれは何なんだわらわがそれを語ろうとどうせそなたは魔法は信じぬ魔女は信じぬの一点張りであろうだからわらわから説明することは特にないそなたが思う通りに信じればよい俺が思う通りだとじ,じゃあどう解釈すりゃいいんだ後ろ宮エヴァの内面的別存在の資格かと今は捉えていただき差し支えないかと思いますよもちろん鵜呑みにはできませんが今はそう理解するのが妥当でしょう
つまりエヴァおばさんも彼女も同じ人物だと理解すべきなんだなクソなんだか気持ち悪い展開になったぜそういうわけでこれよりベアトリーチェはわらわの名ではないぞ後ろ宮やエヴァに引き継いだからなというわけでわらわは名無しだバトラー何かわらわに適当なふさわしき名はないものかそなたの推薦を受けるぞ何か上品で気品あふれてできればちょっぴりキュートな名前はないものかお前なんかベアトのまんまで十分だぜ<笑>ベアトとベアトリーチェで十分区別つくだろう<笑>ベアトのままか違和感はないがなぜだかつまらぬ<笑><笑>紅茶の温度と女心はいつの時代も難しゅうございますバトラ君とにかく囲碁は冷静に現在の彼女は後ろ宮エヴァと判別がつくだけ私たちに状況は有利ですこの子がベアトリーチェだった時に比べればだからこそ、帰って気に入らねえんだがな。何を考えてるんだベアトのやつめ。Hmm. Over there, the witches formed a line, a long line to bless Aunt Eva, who had the figure of her younger days and who now possessed the name Beatrice. It was like a witch's coronation. The countless gold butterflies flap their wings, directing this fantastical gold sparkling space. They were all praising her. As I stared from a distance, I looked at the newly born Beatrice, who had a slightly embarrassed smile on her face. Her expression, which had been lost and confused at first, seemed to be full of the happiness that she was finally starting to recognize. That expression didn't look at all like someone laughing and sangly while standing before the gold. There was just the innocence of a person basking in their own joy. As a person who denied the existence of witches, I couldn't view this witch secession, <coughs> God damn it. secession ceremony with a joyful expression and acceptor. However, when I looked at that innocent smile, I felt like I wanted to offer my blessings just for that moment. It's always beautiful when strong efforts bear fruits and are rewarded. Aunt Eva, who had always yearned to succeed the headship, and who had worked hard since her youth without reward, had spectacularly taken hold of the chance. Given to her by the riddle of the epitaph, and had finally regained that position. How divine is the smile of a person whose childhood dreams have been granted. I definitely won't accept witches, but Battler put his hands together, making a small sound. Clap, clap. It didn't reach her ears, but it did bless her. おめでとうよエヴァおばさん。You spectacularly solved the riddle of the epitaph before anyone else. It's your victory without any complaints. I won't accept all that about the golden witch and so on, but I will accept you as the new head of the Ushuamiya family, and I'll celebrate that sincerely. As though urged on by Battler's applause, Bito also clapped. It was a slightly odd scene. Battler and Beto, who opposed each other, were standing side by side and applauding the same person. Majo ni hakshu shite ru wake janee zo. Eva oba san no kore made no doryoku ni hakshu shite ndo zo. Wara wa mo da zo. Ano hibun o migoto ni toita Eva ni taishi. Sotchoku ni shukufuku no hakshu o okutte oru. 
<笑>お前と一緒に拍手してるってのが気に入らねえがま今は気にしねえことにするぜたまにゃお前と一緒に拍手してもバチは当たらねえかうんたまにはオツであるなしかし拍手って楽しいな成し遂げたのはわらわではなくエヴァであるというのになぜかこっちまで嬉しくなってきよるわ祝福するってことはその喜びを共感する共有するって意味だからななるほどではこのわけもなく嬉しい気持ちはそなたとも共有できているというわけか互いを屈服させようとする敵同士でありながらこれはキーな体験よま今だけは急戦で手を叩こうじゃねえかビトーラフトインプシュリー Playing around and applauding even louder, as though eagerly trying not to lose to Battler as she clapped. Battler went along with her and clapped even louder. God damn it. <laughs> When he did, as though some ceremony had ended, everyone applauded and highly praised the reborn Beatrice. It was just as though Battler's and Beatrice's applause had been the final thing needed for her success. So, like,、uh, so, so, so. Succession! There we go. <laughs> I don't know why I have trouble with that one fucking word, man. Damn. Okay, fading out. It's not the end of the、uh, chapter, I suppose. But I am gonna have to end it pretty soon. Oh, oh no! Okay, it did end. Okay. That was weird. <laughs> Alright, cool. Actually, this is a perfect time to fucking end it. Damn. Oh, okay, 10 30. Gotcha. Okay. And. And. I can't right click. I can't right click. No! <laughs> There we go. <laughs> All right, so we're actually going to go ahead and end it here for today. So it doesn't. Well, let me actually check this. Oh ho ho! Well, well, well. Oh wow. Huh. Solved the riddle of the witch's epitaph and was welcomed as the new endless witch. She was gifted. She was gifted with an aptitude for magic and is accepted to grow into an extraordinary great witch. This genius of a witch often overindulged in her own power during her younger days. Such are the trials only geniuses may endure, and if she proves successful, her name will surely be engraved in the history of the endless witches. Will she be able to overcome the trials that forced her predecessor to surrender? Huh. Alright, I don't. I. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about this chapter. It was quite. <laughs> hmm. I don't know how I feel about this new Beatrice. I, I, ju I just don't know yet. Well, it is still early, I suppose. I don't. <laughs> hmm. It certainly is weird, and it's new. Oh boy, oh boy, boy. What is gonna happen next? I kind of don't want to find out. <laughs> But at the same time, I do. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and end it here for today. Thank you all for joining in on this very long one. Two and a half hours. Damn.、Uh, if you did enjoy the video and、uh, enjoyed this chapter in specifically,、uh, please leave a like, share the video, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already because there will be more Umneko and Higurashi soon. So stay tuned for that. And until next time, please, as a reminder, stay sinful, folks! <laughs>